In their day-to-day -day lives, right whales face few natural threats. However, human impacts are taking a toll on all populations of right whales and their habitats. The North Atlantic right whale is severely impacted by ship strikes and entanglements in fishing gear. The southern right whales visiting Peninsula Valdez face a unique and increasing threat from an unexpected source and a native species, kelp gulls. Kelp gulls have learned to feed on the skin and blubber of right whales at Peninsula Valdez. The gulls land on the back of the whales and they peck on open wounds and they feed on the blubber. And this is very painful to the whales and the attacks can go on for hours at a time. So the quality of life of right whales at Peninsula Valdez has been seriously affected by gull harassment. Over 75,000 reproductive pairs of kelp gulls nest along 3,500 kilometres of Argentina's coast. As a result of rich food supplies available to them at garbage dumps and in the effluent of fish processing plants, their population has increased considerably over the past few decades. This has created a conflict between the gulls and the right whales in the region. The attacks of gulls uh, affect the normal behaviour of the whales, interrupting nursing bouts, decreasing resting time and increasing travel speed because the whales have to flee from the attacking gulls. All of this is increasing energy expenditure at a site where there is very little food available for the whales to replenish their fat reserves and it's also affecting the normal behaviour of whales throughout their nursing time, which is a very important time they are developing. The gulls aim most of their attacks to the calves because they spend much time at the surface and because they travel slowly. And this is of course affecting negatively the behaviour of the calves. And because the attacks interrupt their nursing bouts, we fear that this may in fact be reducing calf survivorship.